Title Tuesday is going on right now, I think. Or maybe it ended. Not sure. But um, anyway, we're going to do our thing. This is the only time on Tuesdays that I can stream. Mm-hmm. Um, and Spencer's also busy. Yeah, I got so, the class after this. At right. Seven. <clears throat> yeah, so I, what I'm going to do instead of come be here for the class is I'll actually do the class, but from home. You can now that you've got that better, better Right, internet. right. Although I discovered today that the internet's not good in the basement. So I, or, I ordered some, well, they told me that I might need some extenders to help. I thought you were going to get a booster. Well, they said extender is, is what I need, not a booster. All right. So I got some extenders for each level. I'll defer to the professionals then. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, I don't know. So anyway, I, I can't really do the class in the basement, but I can do it on the main level if the dogs aren't too loud. A, C, D, M, C, N, U. Am Looky I supposed pooky. to say all the names like, or all the letters like that? I don't know. <laughs> CDMC new. <laughs> Lukey Pookie. Oh, and, and it's GM Benjamin Feingold in the chat. Yep. Hey, nice. GM Benjamin. Good use of the, those emotes. <laughs> so we're just going to sit here for a minute and wait on people to get here. Um, today we're going to be looking at some Acopian games where he's playing black in the London system opening. Mm-hmm. And I was hoping to see sort of ways to, if you're playing against the London, maybe some good play, because we've only looked at it from the perspective of white, really. Acopian's like a really classical player, too. Okay. So you'll get to see some uh, straightforward stuff. All right, cool. Yeah, nice mm-hmm. and uh, nice and instructive. That's the nice. The way to do it. Yeah, I don't need anything too crazy. Hey, Sinful Dwarf. <laughs> hey, Sinful Dwarf, how's it going? I like the little accents there. Three different accents. Mm-hmm. Who's winning? Uh, does anybody know who's winning Title Tuesday? I didn't get to watch any of it today. And I think the Pog Champs is taking today off because of Title Tuesday. So we at least don't have to compete with them. Right. Uh, maybe <clears throat> Danny Wrench will give us a raid. Ha ha. <laughs> <laughs> right. I'm joking. He actually already said he was giving um, the Mountain a raid. Hey, Pablito. No, I can't imagine why he'd give me a raid. I hear something talking. That is our answering machine. Oh. (laughs) Hopefully hopefully it's not. (laughs) All right. (laughs) That's what I was thinking. (laughs) (laughs) Anyway. (laughs) Um, So if somebody wants to give um, a challenge, then maybe should we we do some hand and brain this time? I don't know. Maybe you could just play this time. I could play. I want to save my mental energy for the class. Yeah, that's fine. Um, we may not have enough people. Sometimes people tend to be shy, but since I'm no good, you know, surely somebody out there can challenge me. You know that I'm no good. <laughs> right. Classic Amy. Yeah, meet me on chess.com. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah, come on, get some challenges for kids. All right, that's fine. We're just going to sit here for a minute if so you don't want chicken. to. Um, they just need to be uh, antagonized a bit. <laughs> Come on, you chickens. Buck, buck, buck. Well, we only have like 11 viewers. Hey, Chess with the OV, yes. how's it going? In chat. But we don't have very many at this moment, but we're hoping to get a few more, and I'm waiting on a challenge. How about you, OV? Yeah, come on, OV. He's so much better than me. <laughs> but, you know... Hey, Fortuna, how's it going? Oh, Fortuna. <laughs> All right, bring it. Three or five. Bring it, Ovi. Yeah, three or five. Either way. And since we're not doing hand and brain, you're just playing me for a minute. You know, rated or unrated. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we're playing, you know, by the way, I should do a little shout out. For Chess with Ovi, we're going to do a collaboration with um, Chess with Ovi soon, yet to be determined. Nice. Yeah, we'll figure something fun to do. Karen will play any anybody, no matter Chess what the rating. OV. Queen's Gambit. Yeah, I don't care about any of that. Oh, I guess they don't have the alias. You ch- you challenged her to increment and King of the Hill. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Normal chess and no increment. That's right. No variance and no increment. I guess I should have been more. Wait. Wait. What's it called? What? Shout out. I put standoff. (laughs) 
Oh, right, shut up. The SO didn't work. That's weird. I've seen that work. Well, it does on Ben's channel because I set up uh, I something. Nice. All right, that works. Yeah, so we're going to do some kind of collaboration with Obi soon. No increment. No Obi. increment. You're no almost increment. got there. Just one more step. <laughs> uh, How's it going, Scottish Demon Goat? Hey, Scottish Demon Goat. Well, we haven't figured out what kind of collaboration, but we'll figure one out. It'll be fun. There it is. All right, you did it. Dang, Chess with Ovi is pretty high rated, huh? Oh, yeah. He's going to give me the smack down. And then the beat down. Mm -hmm. Unless you win. <laughs> we'll have to see. Nice French defense here. Oh, yeah. That's not the right move. <laughs> Drinking game stream? <laughs> not uh, not this time. Oh, the Master John's in here. Master John. Nice. Wow, a free move. I know. I got more time. You are playing pretty quickly. Briefly. Just keep up that quick play. Mm -hmm. Aggressive stuff. Dang, our, uh, our French defense lessons are really paying off here. Maybe. Maybe, baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Master John uh, was on that uh, the video game pianist stream. Oh, last day. night? Yeah. yeah. That's uh, one of the two streams that I subscribe to. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and he played a little Zelda. I heard. <laughs> hey, Indo Queen. Hey, Indo Queen, how's it going? Yeah, I love hearing him play Zelda. Mm -hmm. One one night, like uh, a week or so ago, he was playing uh, the song from when you, you get into the a fairy cave. Love that song. You don't know it, but if you did, you'd be like, wow, I mm -hmm. love that song. Definitely. <laughs> really good. <laughs> yeah, he's... Um, night B1, huh? Come on, Chess with Obi. One of my um, favorite streamers right now. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Very unique. Mine too. And, uh, you know, I can't ever get, um, all right, hang on a second. I'm doing great, Indo Queen. How are you doing? But yeah, I'm a huge fan of VGP. Mm-hmm. I don't think that he knows uh, that Spencer Perrier is me. No. He obviously doesn't know that. No. But, um... Is Chess with Ovi the piano guy? Uh, no. <laughs> I, well, maybe he plays the piano, but not the piano guy we're talking about. Yeah, Chess with the Ovi is... Um, I've known Ovi since before we even opened the chess club here. Before, I've known Ovi since before I even met Ben. Um, he... Wait a minute, I can't do that. Uh Always, um, always repeat. <laughs> yeah, I met him through in tournament chess. He was, lived in the Atlanta area, and then he moved away, I think, briefly, and back. And he's a streamer and a lawyer and all sorts of things. Ace Deuce subscribed. Thanks, but Ace Deuce. I knew him. <clears throat> Must be from Ann Arbor. Um, hang on, let me concentrate for a moment. You got it. <clears throat> Indo Queen says I never see her stream so she can't fangirl me whatever that means <laughs> but that is true i don't think i've ever watched indo queen stream unfortunately this seems a little tough i don't really want that right i've never seen ov before in person does he come to the chess center who's asking master, master john? john yeah he used okay so i don't <clears throat> He came before the club ever opened. He was helping us a little with stuff. Now let me concentrate on this move for a moment. You got it. Because I'm feeling a little anxious about the situation. Yes. <laughs> I could imagine. Yes. I don't like, yes, yeah, the guy, I don't like him at all. Um, anyway... Then he didn't really come much once we opened the chess club um, because he was in law school. Then he met a fabulous woman that I haven't met yet, 
beautiful woman, and I think they moved away for a while, and now they're back. So when COVID's nice. over, we'll hopefully we'll get to see Ovi in person. So I, you probably haven't seen him, Master John, bottom line. You're playing pretty well this game. And quickly. Mm-hmm. That's the most important thing. Hmm. That seems no good. Tough. <laughs> Tough stuff. Mm-hmm. This seems so weird. Okay, I'm gonna have to go there. That just seems very ill placed. I don't know what else to do. You gotta do what you gotta do. Mm hmm. I've never oh. seen your white square bishop so active in a French. <laughs> <laughs> How's it going, Bishop Takes? Hey, Bishop Takes. Squirrely, who's squirrely? <laughs> anyway, we're going to do a collab with Chess with Ovi. And hopefully we'll see Chess with Ovi in person. That'd be cool. Mm -hmm. And then, um, yeah. How's it going, Tyrone? Hey, Tyrone. I don't know. Where's that guy going? Go, Karen. Mm. With the much higher rated OV. You're handling it, though. Mm -hmm. You're handling your... You know, stand in your ground. Got it going. Like George Zimmerman. Stand your ground. All right. <laughs> How's it going? What is it? Lima Dado? <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce it. Um, oh, Pawn yeah. Grubber said that they rated Chess with Ovi earlier today. Nice. Who rated? Pawn Grubber. Oh. Well, cool. Um. Everybody's a streamer in the stream. <laughs> that seems to be true. Especially the two people streaming. Good control of the queen side, huh? Everybody <laughs> on the queen side. <laughs> How's it going, Super Baguette? You must love this game because it's a French. Admit it. I hate those knights. Well, he should have gone there last turn and forked you. With every fiber fiber of my being. <laughs> yeah, that B file is taken care of. Oh, Super Baguette says that they're French, so that makes sense. It's all it's all a uh, it's all coming together. <laughs> Don't forget to play faster, though. Tough position. Like dominoes in a house of cards. Checkmate. Got it. Hmm, I don't even know who's better here. I know I'd win with both colors, though. <laughs> <laughs> Just play like I would. Then you'll win. I know whose pawn structure is better. That's for sure.
shit. It's okay. I just just move faster. Hand. All right. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Time's gonna get me. Dang. Oh. Yeah, I just couldn't. You didn't crank up that speed at the end. I did, you know, I couldn't think of a move. That's okay. <laughs> That's all right. But that was a good game. Um, did I curse? I didn't even know I cursed, Tyrone. I don't think you did. My apologies. <laughs> <laughs> My no, sensibilities. Did, did I curse, <laughs> really? I didn't think I did. What's Bochess doing? Thank you, Chess with a... Yeah, I'm a little better. Well, no, what, what, what the important thing is, what's going on on the Botez channel, Dragon Chess? Tell me about it. Is that the important thing? Yeah, I want to know, and then we can look at the game. <laughs> Dragon Chess 24 is streaming, too? Uh, I don't know what else is going on. Um, well... It's showing the dance. Oh, well, that's been there for a million years. I kind of like that dance. <laughs> it's hey, born and Oz. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I kind of like that dance. I noticed that um, she, she changes it up a little bit on the chest bra. Chest bras are still in there. And I just, mm -hmm. you know, got to fuel the gossip mill. I haven't mm -hmm. noticed that they really are too friendly anymore. That's true. <laughs> well, I mean, I have cursed before Tyrone, 20. <laughs> I try not to, but it does happen occasionally. I didn't notice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You want to look at this game now? Yeah, let's look at the game. So he played bishop d3. I don't really know that move. Most people play f4. Mm-hmm. Now you're threatening that. I saw that. So he took. He did. I'd probably take this, I guess. Oh, okay. Yeah, I didn't think about it. This move also seems a little weird to me. But I guess you want it to push. But anyways, why mm -hmm. not just play knight c6? Yeah. That's the normal I did move. end up playing that, I think, next. Yeah. This is not a great square for the knight either. I thought it seemed weird. Yeah, he should go like that, I guess. Or maybe f4. I don't really know how to play with white when he goes bishop d3, knight e2. Mm -hmm. But I would guess you'd go here and then bring the other knight to e2 to protect protect d4. But then his pawn's hanging, so. Yeah, I don't know. I guess f4 is the move, but. Seems a little weird with the knight on e2. He took it. And then he played. This move's a controversial move. Because you're letting him go in like that. That's true. I didn't want him to connect his pawns. Right. I'd probably go here, and then if he does that, your bishop's pretty good. Mm, that's true. If he plays queen a4, you can play queen b7. Go back and let's see what the engine says. All right. Mr. Engine. Maybe it'll like your move the best. It likes never play f6 and d4. Oh, it does it like does d4. It does like d4, nice. But I, could, I know what you're saying, though, even though engine like... Those type moves, at least for me, it becomes difficult. It doesn't like it anymore. Oh, it doesn't? It becomes difficult to sometimes protect it, it too. F6 the most. F6? Oh, yeah. Yeah, when you have your bishop here, you want to play F6. Mm, that's right. I'll that play F6 like a solid lot time to play the French. It. D4 doesn't seem bad, though. Mm. It wants knight B1, but... Uh, yeah, because if you go here, the pawn's hanging. So D4 is a good move. I thought mm. he could go here. I was like, why do you play knight B1? But it's because his pawn would be hanging. So d4 does make sense then. Because oh, he, he yeah. can't play in a d4 right now. Oh, yeah. That's why he went back. I was wondering why he went there. Yeah, me too. Oh, I yeah. forgot the pawn was hanging. That's why in this variation, usually f4 is the move. Okay. So now you're probably better. I think I would go uh, <clears throat> still play b6, bishop, b7. a6 is just a little slower. You don't necessarily want your pawns on white squares. Mm -hmm. Now, what are you saying? Wait, is this a Christian stream? <laughs> I'm not burning. <laughs> right. I'm not sure what that's a reference to. Hey, hey ABC, ABC sequence. sequence. Jinx. What is the reference to the Christian Just because of the swearing. Oh. <laughs> I think. Yeah, plenty of Christians swear, trust me. 
So uh -oh. here I was thinking that you could go <laughs> here. Even if he takes it, maybe you can do this. I'm not sure if this works, but you're attacking the, the knight with the rook, and then you can take there if he moves the knight. Oh, okay, yeah. Um, so maybe he... And also you're attacking this, which I didn't even notice. Mm -hmm. So if he, like, defends it like that, you can just take that. So this looks like it's working for you. Mm -hmm. Got all those threats. So this was okay to do that. You just had to use some tactics to help. Yeah. Instead, you went back because you didn't see all that. Then he does get to put his knight in here, his other knight. Mm -hmm. Yeah, then he went back because he was afraid you'd take this. Mm -hmm. And then his knight would be hanging. So it wasn't that bad for you, I guess. That looked like a good move. Now here, I don't know, I might take. Even though he could take twice here. Then you would take this, and then your pawn's pretty good. You got two pawns and a rook for the two pieces. Mm -hmm. And your pawn's on b2, it's a pretty That's good true. pawn. That's true, yeah. But he could probably just take back, then you should still play rook b6, I guess. Mm -hmm. Or defend your knight somehow. Anyway. So it wouldn't be much of a difference. Yeah, so here he's trying to go there. <clears throat> and he doubled it up. I thought he would take your pawn here, but maybe there's a problem with that. Oh, it doesn't look like it. Because if you go... Well, you can't even do that because your bishop will be hanging. You can't even go here because this is hanging. So yeah, he could take the pawn. Maybe that? No, you can't go there. The knight's protecting it. So yeah, you can't even attack your queen, actually. He just uh, played positionally. He took. That makes sense. Those look like good moves. But here he can fork you. Mm, I didn't see it. Well, yeah. I wouldn't, I wouldn't think you'd on purpose let him do that. <laughs> Although then you could play knight a5, or rook a5. Yeah. So then you're, you're okay. <clears throat> you're okay, because takes, takes, this is all right. Yeah. Which is better. They could also take the knight. Here? Mm-hmm. But then you'll lose the exchange. Oh, yeah. If you take the rook at the end. Oh, yeah. So. Forget about the bishop. You could do this, right? Yeah, now you're talking. That's the move. Now you're losing the exchange. Mm hmm So, yeah, this still loses the exchange that just queen takes. Unless you have some tricky queen move here, like this. Nah, it doesn't, it doesn't work. It doesn't do nothing. <clears throat> so yeah, knight d6 was winning. Instead he played this. That's a good move. <laughs> That's good. That looks okay. I thought, what did I think he would do here? I don't know, I guess this is a good move. But yeah, you're playing great here. Because all his pawns are hanging. Mm -hmm. Here you should just take some pawns. Instead he played this. Took that, that looks smart. Then he went back. Okay. I guess that's alright. This actually looks pretty good for you. Nice. I just couldn't do anything with the time here. Yeah, you just played way too slow. Like, you had 20 seconds, you made like 5 moves or something. Mm, he didn't have a lot of time either, but... Oh yeah, but he played fast when he had like 30 seconds. Though. Yeah, he's better in a... In... Was no yeah. time. Yeah. <laughs> Good game. Good Tough game, game. Ovi. I enjoyed that game very much. Um, what are people saying? Did you want? Do I want to play a rematch game? Well, <laughs> I'm not sure about it. Let me see what the time is. We probably should mo move into the lesson. What is your thought? Yeah, I think so. But I would love to <laughs> play you again. That was so much fun. Uh, oh, it's been in the... Um, <laughs> Oh, you mean yesterday when he was in the Pog Champs? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was stirring up some hate. What Classic. It, <laughs> <laughs> so not much I could do about that. Um, hey, Squishy Hercules. Yeah, cook. we'll definitely play again, Ovi, and even off stream. That was fun. And, of course, we're going to collaborate. Durbat Balak says, really, what did Ben say? Oh, I don't know. You know, like boo and, you know. <laughs> boo earns. <laughs> <laughs> it's, 
it, it, all he has to do is say anything at all, and people are or start spamming. Um, I, it's weird champ. I even, <laughs> I even weird champed him. <laughs> weird champ. <laughs> I was a weird champ, Benjamin Feingold. Yeah, you know, people are like so excited. Oh, there you are. <laughs> <laughs> people are so excited to um to see him arrive, so they can hate on him. I don't plan to get the IM title. I would have to get FM first. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hey, Super Baguette. It's a lot of work to get those titles. All right, I'm a lot lazier than the average I am. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why, um, you know, if people ask Rosen all the time about becoming a GM, and he says no, he doesn't really have any plans in the immediate future. He streams and does all sorts of things, and he'd have to give all that up and just sit around and study chess all day for hours on end. <laughs> right. So <clears throat> That's true. You know, yeah, I got to really want that title. Um. Oh, you're so dedicated, Kangaroo, to do that. I generally, you know, I joined in on the the uh, Ben Badgering. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. I was like weird champ and boo. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, oh, you're a student. <laughs> um, now, I'm going to real quick before we start the lesson, I have to check um, a message real quick. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Um, uh -oh. Okay, I'll look at that later. That's, That's not fair. good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're going to begin our lesson, and Spencer's going to show us some Acopian games. I'm, right. I'm not real familiar with Acopian, but I know Acopian. <laughs> right, Acopian, no relation, because they have different last names. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, he's stronger, Acopian. Yeah. Vladimir Acopian. Uh, in this game that we're going to look at, he, his rating was 2698. Is he also Arme Armenian? Or yes. Is he? Oh, yeah, yes. Definitely. Um, and what is his uh, contemporary of Acopian or older? Or? I don't know uh, who's older, mm -hmm. but they're, uh, well, they both play, you know, nowadays. Oh, they still play? Okay. Yeah, I feel like Acopian still plays. Mm <laughs> hmm. You know, as much as you can during the pandemic era. Mm -hmm. So this right. is a game he has against some kind of famous legend, Gata Komsky. Mm -hmm. A Copian has black. And Komsky, I mentioned this before, he likes to play this way that is not very good, really. So I'd recommend not to do this with white. Yeah, here. And then like this. So he's already played knight f3. Mm -hmm. And that's the problem. Like, I would rather you have played knight d2 in this position. And you can do that by playing bishop f4 and then not playing with knight f3. Like this. Mm -hmm. So he, so he's already played knight f3. So the, the difference is that we talked about this before, that the rook will get trapped, like, in this variation. Yeah. If you remember us discussing that. Mm -hmm. So that's why after queen b3, c4... Queen c2, do you remember the move for black here? Is this where they go bishop f5? Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. You got it. Exactly right. Bishop f5. And like I was saying, you can't take it because then it's a dead rook. So mm -hmm. that's why it's better to have your knight on d2 and put this knight back there in this variation. Okay. And again, this only matters if black doesn't play e6, like how he didn't, didn't right. play. Right, yeah. So, so that's specific to this variation. Otherwise, knight f3 is okay. Like, if you're playing uh, bishop f4 and they play, you know, in this position, they play e6, you got the green light to play knight f3 then because they can't play bishop f5 in that variation. It's illegal. I see. Now, you're saying Komsky, <clears throat> the most gorgeous chess player. Is that true? <laughs> I don't know. I, I wouldn't say that's true, so maybe <laughs> you're joking. All right. So bishop f5, so he can't take, so he plays queen c1. And a Copian plays h6, giving his bishop some room to run. Once he plays e6, if you play knight h4, he can back it up. Mm -hmm. h3? <laughs> you e6. thought the joke was obvious. <laughs> <laughs> well, the reason why it's not obvious, he's not, you know, unattractive. He just looks a little ragged. <laughs> yeah, he's got the chess player look. Yeah. Knight bd2. And bishop e7. 
which should be two, and both sides castle. So they're out of the opening here, and uh, I would typically say that black is at least equal, if not better. He's got more space, and, and there's not a lot of not a problem for black here at all. You know, just has more space on the queen side, and and no problem. Mm -hmm. So this is definitely a position to avoid. Although Comsky's had this position like a hundred times, you know, he's had he he has this position all the time. Black really? can play differently. Like black can play e6 instead of h6, or black can mm -hmm. even play queen d8 here. But um, yeah, black uh, Comsky is okay with this position with white, where yeah. most everybody else who plays in London is not. Okay, so now 10 moves in, or 11 moves, oh, actually, we're halfway through the 12th move, I can see that. Mm -hmm. Is the engine... Um, reliable. Reliable at this point? I'm just yeah, curious. Yeah, I would say, you know, it's somewhat reliable. Let's see what he says. All right. Mr. Engine. Yeah, it likes black a little. A little. It's pretty equal. Pretty equal, okay. But, you know, a little bit, 0 0.11, 0 0.2, 0 0.27, 0 0.25. All right, like just a, a very small advantage for black. Mm-hmm. Nothing that he can't equalize from, but I don't really know why you'd prepare this opening for white. Right, if you're not going to get some kind of advantage. Or at least equalize. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he plays rook fc8 because <clears throat> he wants to move his queen back and play b5, b4. So he got his rook in there, so his rooks are connected and he can attack on the queen side. Oh, I see, yeah. Rook e1. He's, uh, he's pretending like he'll play e4 at some point. Generally, this is the plan for white to trade off the white square bishops and play e4, which I think he does that during the game. Now, why is that the plan? Well, you what? want to make a pawn break. And because he's played c4, that releases pressure on d4. So it's easier to play e4 because we don't need our e-pawn to protect d4. Okay. Well, I mean, all the pawns are on dark squares. Right, so trading off white square bishops might be anti-positional. Right. Yeah, but he's going to make a, p a pawn break on the white squares. He just want, needs to control e4. Yeah, He okay. needs to be able to control e4. He doesn't want to play b3 with the rook and queen lined up. That's so, true. So he's going to play he's e4. He's got to do something. Yeah. <laughs> got to get something going. Yeah, yeah, that's why I don't really like this for white. Mm -hmm. Here. And uh, just plays b4. He doesn't mind if Komsky trades here, which he does. Even though it doubles his pawns and weakens d5, you're not playing e4 anymore. Oh, that's true. So he doesn't mind to, to allow that trade as a copian. And so uh, uh, Komsky's like, well, at least I have a better pawn structure. Let's just, uh, just keep playing the position. Knight e5. Bishop d6. Putting a little pressure there. Queen c2, knight e4. So he's keeping the tension here, and he's just trying to put a little pressure on it. But yeah, black's got a lot of space on the queen side. He got in his pawn break. He's controlling the center very well. Gotta like black here. I would. Gotta like him. F3. I'll turn off the sound of my phone. <laughs> yeah, F3, never play that. And the computer doesn't love it. It just wants to play here, do nothing. Okay. But should still be shouldn't change much. F three it does weaken a little bit. You know, weakens the dark squares a bit. That's usually the problem with F three. And a copian handles this pretty nicely. He goes for uh bishop takes d five. E five even. <laughs> bishop takes e five. Yes, that's that's a good move. And so the here's the, the problem with F three. It forced the knight to move, right? Mm -hmm. But after this bishop capture, he's going to play knight c5. You know, after pawn takes, which is what he played, knight c5. Mm -hmm. Then it'll be knight d3, kind of like how the guy played knight d6 against you. Mm -hmm. Did ov, and that's a pretty good square for his knight. And you might say, well, what about bishop takes, right? <laughs> Why not bishop takes? Still knight c5. Because the pawn is overloaded. Mm -hmm. has to defend the bishop. So either you take and let me take, I'm still getting knight d3, or mm -hmm. you don't take and I'm still getting knight d3. No matter what you do, it's knight d3 time. So that's why f3 wasn't very smart, because he still has this idea now. And that's why bishop d6 was such a good move too, 
he's putting pressure here on e5 so that the pawn is overloaded. So it's really good positional play. Really good positional play by Akopian. He knows what he's doing. Who would have thought? Yes. And then, uh, but, okay, Komsky's like, I'm just a pawn grubber. Like, yes, sir, right? <laughs> but uh, obviously, knight d3 is dropping and attacking a bunch of stuff. So he's not really going to win his pawn. Yes, there's a pawn grabber. Oh, yeah, you don't know that Yasser says that all the time? No. Nah. Yeah, Yasser's like, I'm an old pawn grubber. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love to grab some pawns, too. Yeah, why not? Oh, he says grub. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I don't really know. But anyways, uh, knight d3 is what he played. Probably it's more accurate to stop e6, which is what Komsky did. Mm -hmm. You can do that by playing knight e7. Then after you move your queen away, like to g4, rook c6. Protecting h6, which was threatened. And protecting e6, in case you play e6, I can play rook takes now. So I can play knight d3 next. Um, although white is temporarily up a pawn, so Akopian might have been a little bit concerned about this. Like, maybe he won't get to win back his pawn. And that's mm -hmm. why he played the way he did. And still probably better for black the way that he played. Now, I've got a couple, couple comments here. Knight d3 all day. He grabbed his opponent by the pawns. After knight d3, bishop g3 <laughs> sacking the exchange. Well, he did sack the exchange. Did, uh, what's his name? Komsky. Why would you play bishop g3? Why wouldn't you just do anything sacking the exchange? Like, why is bishop g3 good? You know? Well, you could just do anything and sack the exchange. Well, how does that help? You play e4 or something. Well, I don't know if I'd do that, but... <laughs> But he played e6. He's getting counterplay here, clearly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, e6. How do you get those fancy arrows? You just got to right-click. Yeah, you right-click, you can get arrows and and uh, highlight the squares that way. So he doesn't take the bishop. He's going to take your rook. Rooks are worth more than bishops. Last I checked. Also, you could take a free pawn. He's not going to take your bishop. Yeah. So e6. So he's getting some counterplay here. Is gotta. Got to get counterplay. Yeah. Then here he does sack the exchange, like I mentioned. And it wasn't even captured. It's kind of funny. He plays uh, king h2. Uh, instead of moving his rook, which computer likes to move his rook to e2, for example. Mm -hmm. And there are a couple ways that black could go about this position. He could play knight takes f4. Initially, this is the computer's suggestion, but I don't think it's best. Wants to take here and then eventually break with d4. Probably don't want to take and get forked. Um, you could take this, but he could take that. And uh, it's pretty messy. You know, black definitely has some initiative, though. Black's going to have a passed pawn, and white has more pawns on the king side, but they're... They're, they're not very useful yet until you go here, I guess. Even then I could take it. So you got to prepare that a little bit. But I think uh, it's actually probably stronger not to do that, but instead to go for bc and queen a5, targeting like this. Kind of difficult to defend the pawn, unless you want to play knight b1, but I don't think you want to do that. Can't go here, I'll take it. Can't go here, I'll take it. Mm -hmm. Maybe you could try some uh, some perpetual idea, though, which I didn't look at beforehand. Well, maybe I could just ignore mm -hmm. that and take here and attack your rook, though. And then I could take and then move my king and block with my queen, assuming you move your rook away. So I don't think that... I guess that doesn't really work. But that might be something to be concerned about in this variation. Mm -hmm. So it, it's pretty sharp now. It's It's definitely pretty complicated at this point. He goes for king h2, just improving the king's position. Computer didn't like that. Just takes here. Who cares about the exchange? I'm trying to queen. I'm trying to go to queenton over here. Yeah. He takes this. Knight back to d3. So he's trying to get a little counterplay here.
Yeah, G H seven. I guess G is bishop, right? <laughs> yeah. Where? Oh. And in the chat. Okay. But yeah, like I said, you know, you have queen c three. Um, what's wrong with knight? Knight takes b two first instead of what? I mean, that's what he did. So, but maybe he means here. Knight takes b two. Oh, maybe here's where it's. It's g takes h6 also. <laughs> yeah, g takes h6 is interesting sacrifice. But I don't know, maybe I could try to still run away. Because you can't check me here. But you'd have to calculate that sacrifice and make sure it's not perpetual if you're trying to win with black. Which you should be trying to win with black, because black's better here. Or you could still take kind of like how Komsky did. But yeah, anyways, he played knight takes b2 after king h2. Yeah, it is the game move, exactly. Here. Komsky's like, please take my exchange. But he does take the bishop like Scottish Demon Goat was afraid of. He, he's trying to avoid the sacrifice perpetual, clearly. And just saying, I'm going to win with my past pawns. So he's got two past pawns now. Knight d4. I was seeing it all along. Yes. <laughs> yes. Queen g6. So yeah, black's doing great here. He never took the exchange when he could have, but he's he was playing for the two connected pass pawns, which is pretty good. Mm -hmm. And uh, he's even a pawn down, I think. Four, six, to five, yes. He's a pawn down. So um, that's not great, but... He's got two pass pawns and white has zero. Kind of rare that you're uh, you're down a pawn, but you have two pass pawns. Your pawn has zero pass pawns. Pretty unusual. But he still has to defend his king, because if Komsky can get this pawn break in, you know, and then help with the rook, mm -hmm. then Komsky's gonna win. So he's gotta he's gotta defend that. He's gotta defend it. Hitting the pawn. Also, if f5, you could probably take it. Couldn't tell if that was a pun or not. It was. It was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've been I've been doing that the whole time. <laughs> yeah. Knight f1. So he wins back the pawn. Here. C3 is enough to be winning. Uh, but he takes the pawn, which is not bad. He cleans back two pawns, and now he's a pawn up. I think this is winning as well. Computer wanted him to play this to attack the knight and then if you defend it he can kick you and try to get in there but actually queen h4 is a good move a tactical defense mm -hmm. well, I guess if you move your rook then you can get forked maybe you could try to go here though but anyways I think either way it should be winning for, for black he didn't play rook a b1 he went for uh, knight e3 that was why he played knight F1, trying to trying to take some of these pawns, but it's not really going to work out for him. Yeah, knight c3. Oh, here's a computer, an interesting computer variation. D4. Now I know that he didn't play this because he was afraid of this, which just looks like it's a tactic for white, because after here, check. You have to take it, and then we fork and win the knight back. Mm -hmm. Like this. But this is actually winning for uh, this is actually winning for black. The d pawn is too strong. Right, the d pawn is just way too strong. Even here, like this, it's winning. Now you can't, even though it looks like the queen's overloaded, you can't just take the pawn because then I'll play rook check, saving my rook and mating you, actually. Oh, yeah. So, rook c1 is the next move, and, and it's going to lose for for white, obviously, in that case. So he could have won, like, basically straight away with d4. I mean, I guess Comps he doesn't have to take, but I think that's why he didn't play d4 is because of the, that variation. But it ends up working out for black. Instead, he played knight c3, also a good move. And then he plays uh, rook a c1. Yeah, thank you.
and then d4. Got to put it in your drink order there. <laughs> Knight f5. So now he's trying to mate him, but it's not going to be enough. Rook f8. Rook e8, so he doesn't lose his knight. Check. Knight e7. Threatening mate every move, pretty much. Tough. Yeah, he just sacks it. Get rid of those mate threats because these pass pawns are too strong. Attacks the queen. Yeah, good technique here. Knight e3 is a good move. And he takes like this, hoping for the recapture, and takes where it's probably not winning, even though the pass pawn is pretty strong. The computer even says zero there. Well, black's better, but, you know, mm -hmm. should win then. But he only has one winning move, and he found it. Queen g3. Nice. Nice move there. Only winning move. Threatening mate. So here. But then check. That's the other point of, of queen g3. And then d3. Yes, he never cares to take the exchange. Queen d4. Is that young Ben? Something like that. Hey, Corbinian, BTM98. Check. Check. Yeah, see, he was threatening some perpetual checks, in case you're wondering why he didn't just like take the rook. Oh, I guess knight takes would be queen takes pawn, check, four king, the king and rook, king and knight, rather. Mm. But pawn takes would be a perpetual. So uh, he goes for this. This is the only win. Knight g3. And now he can take this. Yeah. Check. This is nice. After check, he plays king h8. So now if you check him here, you can't check him again. Mm -hmm. you can't, you're not on the white squares. And so Komsky just resigned because he's down a knight at this point. He could take the pawn, but he's going to going to lose to an extra knight. Lose your queen. There wasn't a perpetual there at all for white? Well, you could you could try. What, what move would white play? Um, let's go back. Oh, okay. Yeah. <clears throat> you want to go back more? Um, no, I'm just on D, you know, queen d8 and then just going back and forth. Then what would black do? Probably here. Just wondering if I could do this. But if I go here, you'll probably do that, right? Hmm. So maybe I could try to win like this. Yeah, I was wondering about that. But I was afraid you'd... Oh, see, if you ever check and take, I can queen then. So mm -hmm. you can't really do that. So go back go back to the first... Let's just see what the engine says. It says black's winning. To the... Um, when... um, so there's not a perpetual, I guess, because he can run out. Yeah. But we, we can take a look at it. It does say king f7. Yeah. Queen c7, that's what I thought. Step up, even? Yeah, he would have to dance around a bit here. Mm -hmm. But eventually but... we can even block with the knight. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah you can get down there. Okay. I was just was curious. Yeah, definitely. Hey, Trumpowski, how's it going? Yeah, that was a good game by Akopian. He... Um, like I said, you know, this is just good for black, really. He's got more space on the queen side, and he made it work. He played b5, b4. He didn't care about this. I like how he had multiple chances to win the exchange, and he never did. He instead sacked the exchange. This is an instructive moment, though. f3 wasn't best because of, uh, because of knight c5 here. 
it doesn't make sense to force the guy to do this. Right. Now, can you, so let's go back. Do you mind? Let's look at the opening. I just want to know where did um, white go wrong? Right. As I mentioned, uh, this move order with knight, knight f3 is wrong. Right. The, all these moves are fine. Like, all the moves after that are fine. From this point on, this is the best white can do. You know, th there's nothing wrong with any of these moves white played. Um. You know, this is all good. All computer recommended stuff. It's just that this position's not good for white. That's all there is to mm -hmm. it. Go DK. <laughs> hey DK. So go for just a few moves. Let yeah. me just make sure I don't have any other questions. Like this? Yeah. So that to me seemed right here like hugely important because mm -hmm. the C three pawn ultimately became so weak. Um, if I'm remembering correctly, so well, it already is weak. Right. That's There's nothing he could do about it at this point. Right. So did that? Did they do something wrong? Um, because typically, if I'm playing, you know, a lot of times the C file just opens up, so I don't really have that issue. The C file opens up. Yeah. Well, um, not if they play C C five C four. Usually not. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> usually it's because uh, their pawns here, and you play B four, and then they take and open it up. Mm -hmm. So it's sort of a different pawn structure. Here he he played C four at the tempo, which is why he did it, and then he's uh, ma putting that tempo to good use with okay. B five B four. Uh, let me go back. Where did he go? Let me see four. Oh, we're hitting the queen. Oh, yeah, yeah. You, you talked about that before. Exactly, right. Mm -hmm, I remember that now. Yeah, you said that's what they would do. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Like, C4 is not a great move, but if you give him a tempo to do it, he'll do it. Mm -hmm. And then he's making that tempo work later when he's playing B5, B4. Okay, I understand now. I just couldn't remember all that. Well, that was an interesting game. Definitely. Most assuredly. <laughs> Only the England to refute the, right, the right. London. Yeah, d4, e5. Then he can't play bishop f4. Right. Although e5 has some other problems. <laughs> mm -hmm. But if you really need to avoid uh, the London, then yeah. Definitely. Well, should we move on to the next game? Yeah, definitely. Did, did anybody have any questions about the game? Or comments. Like, or great comments. game, Acopian. Will you play viewers at the end of the stream? Probably. Yeah. Why not? Definitely. All right, let's go on to this next one. The player with white, he's uh, only about 2350. Still pretty good. Dimitri Roz Rozko. Mm -hmm. Rozko, I guess. That's how you pronounce it. Not sure. R-O-Z-H-K-O. I'm sure he'd pronounce it differently than I did. <laughs> So here, uh, it's, a, it's basically the same variation, but a little bit of a transposition. A Copian plays c5 on move one, much like uh, Laszlo. Laszlo. Went. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Are you there, Laszlo? Right, you got to pay attention to this one. And then c3. That's what I do. Right, that's the chicken move. <laughs> d5. I am a chicken. Mm -hmm. And then he does it like this. There he is. <laughs> Yes. You know it. Queen b6. <laughs> so they kind of do like a weird transposition here. You see black played all the same moves, uh, but white hasn't yet played e3, like how Komsky did. Mm -hmm. So if you want a direct transposition into the Komsky game, you'd play e3 here. Then after c4, it's exactly what we oh, looked yeah. at. But here... White is trying to, I guess, take advantage of that move order difference and actually plays knight bd2. So he's avoiding the Komsky variation. Mm -hmm. that's, that's, what he's, uh, that's what he's up to. A Copian just takes it and plays knight h5. Aggressive play by a Copian. Usually you don't see knight h5 too early unless you're watching one of my dad's streams. He plays knight h5 and move two sometimes, which is like really early, <laughs> obviously. Mm -hmm. But with the queens off the board, he can spend a little bit of time, um, and he won't get punished as hard. 
because uh, you know queens are off the board. It's it's not going to be so easy for white to mm-hmm. white to play aggressively there. And knight h5, I think, is is a fine move here. And I think this is an interesting way to try to punish white's move order because white is trying to avoid the comps key position. So it's like, what are you going to do about it, right? You can't do the same thing because his knight's moved. So he'll just take it and your rook's safe. Oh, yeah. So this is a Copian's treatment. He's like, okay, if you play knight d2 instead of e3, I won't do the same thing because it loses the bishop. Instead, I'll trade him. And then knight h5. Try to win your dark square bishop. That'll teach you. Here. Now his pawn is hanging, so he does play c4 anyway. Explosive stuff. See you chess with OV. B5. Oh, bye, OV. Brownie, where have you been? Nice. This position's not that complicated. We already got queens off the board. <laughs> so we got B5 in, mm-hmm. just like last game. A3, try to hold him back. Plays H6. Again, he wants to play bishop F5, but he doesn't want to get knight H4. Kind of like how white got the same deal here. The raw deal. Like Monty. Here. Bishop F5. Little REM reference there. Bishop F5. What would you say? Monty got a raw deal. Oh. I didn't even hear that. I know. I snuck it in. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I snuck in that reference. Takes. And takes. So here, I feel like black should be better. He's got two bishops, and he still has the same plan like how uh, he did against Komsky. So I, you know, I really like, really like how Black handled this, and, and Black should be a little bit better. Again, it's sort of a, a move order deal. Mm-hmm. You know, he he got this bad position from playing the wrong move order with Knight F3 too early, and Akopian really shows how to uh, how to punish it with the precise play, like really precise stuff. Here, white, according to the engine, though, white can equalize by playing e4. That's the pawn break we all want to play. It looks like, uh, you know, it's two against one, so that's not going to work. But after takes, he has this one, taking advantage of the pin. Oh, yeah. Yeah, pretty tricky stuff. So he will win back the pawn. Uh, computer likes to play this, ditching the pawn to split these, give these double isolated pawns. Mm-hmm. And uh, it says it's about equal here, but I, I gotta say that black should be better. Black's got two bishops and a better pawn structure. Um, but white does have more center pawns and, and also lead in development somewhat, at least mm-hmm. a little bit. I guess black could just play bishop e7, but I think probably should. So I don't know. I mean, I guess white could play this. If you know a little bit more than the, just this position, you can, you can aim for this and, and probably equalize. But he didn't play e4. He didn't uh, figure that one out. He played knight e5. Typical Lundo move. It does split his pawns up, though. Not a big deal. But yeah, black should just be a little bit better with the two bishops. Vatels. g4. Bishop g6. Yeah, a little cameo by Archer there, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Goes knight f3. Then bishop e4. And uh, he plays pretty creatively here. He goes for rook h5. Wasn't the computer's favorite move, but I, I like it. I respect it, you know? <laughs> Lift that rook. Protect the pawn, I guess. Trying to prepare this, perhaps. Although if he does it, you could take it and win a pawn. So doesn't really get it, get it going. Um, computer just wanted him to castle. Yeah, castles is, is recommended, but it still th- thinks that black's better here. Black can go for this pawn break. Even actually wants to play f6 here. Open up the position for the bishop pair. But he goes for rook h5. And yeah, Copian plays this really nicely. King d7. Connecting the rooks. Knight d4. This is why earlier he played knight e5 and let his pawns get doubled. Because mm-hmm. he wanted to get his other knight into d4 like this. It's a good square for the knight. Mm-hmm. It's an outpost. But now he can play rook hb8 because he got his king out of the way. He doesn't mind not to castle, obviously. It doesn't matter at all. Here. Never play that. Kicks the rook back. So yeah, rook h5 didn't really do much because he just moved back. 
and here comes a5, b4. So it's pretty clear that black's better here. I think anybody would agree with that at this point. b4. Takes, takes. But he tries his best here. He plays e4. Which is a little anti-positional, uh, but it's probably still the best try. It weakens the dark squares quite a lot. And then so he just pinned it. Yeah, pretty annoying pin now. Mm -hmm. And here, uh, here's probably where he's losing the game. Although I, I, he might already be losing anyway. Wasn't king d2 better instead of king f2? Hmm, potentially. Although if you go here later, then you'll still get this diagonal open. So that's the problem with White's position. He doesn't have an active plan because the bishop pair is too oppressive. He can't make his pawn breaks and open up the position because that's going to help the two bishops. And that's a big problem with playing against the two bishops is that you often don't want to open up the position. So it's hard to play a pawn break. But what is White to do then? Hard to say. Hey, Squire. Yeah, two bishops of Atels. So either way, he got into trouble here. He plays king g3. Computer didn't like that, but he wants to get out of the pin, obviously. Yeah, I could, yeah, I was thinking that's really the only place to go, but it's no good. All right, I want him to take it and go here. Mm. Yeah. Although you open up the e-file, so f6 is a strong move here. Then you just get the rook over there. Yeah, exactly. That's coming up next on next week's episode. <laughs> <laughs> Don't want to miss that. Yeah, computer goes like this, and after you move the king, just loses the pawn because you take it and take it. Mm. So it's going to be a pawn down and, and lost, probably. But uh, maybe he can defend this somehow, but it seems pretty tough. But yeah, he went for king g3, and then he just took it. Now he's got a clean two against one here. And this is a really nice play. B3. He wants rook a2. Yes. Gave up the bishop pair, but look at those pawns. So he trades it. Goes here. Not really sure how that helps, but, you know, got to do something, I guess. It protects his e-pawn, but still rook a2 is coming. So, yeah, it's tough. Yeah, now white is just so passive here with this rook situation. Mm -hmm. And this could be coming at any moment, you know. <laughs> so he just builds it. King c6. King e3, king b5. Keep building. Much like Bob the Builder. Can we promote it? Yes, we can. <laughs> Always play bishop f1. Followed by never play f6. So now black's losing. Just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. Bishop e2. Yeah, white can't do anything at all. Mm -hmm. He can't move his rook, obviously. His bishop can't do anything. And he also can't move his king away, because then his e-pawn would fall. Mm -hmm. And he can't deal mm -hmm. with this tension either, because this is here. So white's just totally paralyzed at this moment. Fully paralyzed. e5, x clam. Now it's, uh... Yeah, it's not great for white at all. If you take and take, then I'm going to play d4, then I'm going to play c3. Then you're going to resign, I guess. So he goes here. Can't really recommend a good move for him. Takes. 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 Tries to get this going, though. You know, maybe. If a Copian, if a Copian falls asleep, you know. <laughs> but here comes Bishop to e7 to stop that. Tries this. He wants to go here and then stop you from going there. Although, he didn't go here, I guess. It doesn't really matter. The c-pawn's going to win, even if it has to give up the bishop. So he plays d6. Bishop d7. Rook h1. Yeah, like I said, the c-pawn's a, a winner here. Yeah, he's got a lot of ways to win this. Rook g2. Check. And resigns. He's going <laughs> to lose his bishop now. And what's nice, after you take the bishop, you're behind the d-pawn. Plus, mm. there's two connected pass pawns in the third rank. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty bad. 
Hey, um, Afrin Pie and Natal. So now, where nice. would you say they went? The things fell off the rails here. Right, it was pretty gradual. I mean, <clears throat> Kopi and I played the guy because he's you know several hundred points higher rated. Um, the opening wasn't great for White. You know, already here he's struggling to equalize with White after eight moves. But he could have tried it with a timely e4, like we were saying. Here e4 would have come close to equalizing. After this, now he's in, in rough shape. Um, I don't know if he could improve much. Rook h5 was also a mistake. We saw later he played here and just had to go back. Right. So Rook h5 wasn't best either. So it was a, a few small errors. Rook h5 was wrong. Not playing e4 like he did was wrong. And playing this opening was wrong. So he played sort of three <laughs> small errors. Yeah. And then he might already be lost here. It's entirely possible. I know he wanted to put his knight on d4, but it seemed like letting the pawns get messed up like that ultimately caused problems. Well, it wasn't really a big problem. His problem was he's losing on the queen side, and the guy's got the two bishops. Yeah. So it, it didn't really... Uh, the fact that the pawns are doubled didn't really hurt him too much. But the king was sort of paralyzed there, not able to leave the pawns. He was trying right. to protect the pawns. Yeah, later in the game, yeah. That's what I meant, later in the game. Yeah, but even here, it's like already pretty tough. No, you could improve on knight e5, yeah. But yeah, the way to do it is to play e4. This is the moment when he mm -hmm. played knight e5 instead of e4. So he picked the wrong plan. Like you can't, I mean, anything you do is not going to be good if it's not e4. Right, and then I just forgot the move. What was... Oh, okay, yeah. All right, this is the moment. Yeah. A moment like this. <laughs> a, yeah. a Copian waited a lifetime for a moment like this. <laughs> yeah, that just seems bad. But yeah, a Copian just played it pretty much perfectly, and the guy made some minor errors. And it was I think, like, already it's enough to be lost. Because white can't do anything, and black can just play b4. Whenever, you know, he plays a5 before. Mm -hmm. yeah, let me go back one second. So, let's see. Okay, so then... So you want to improve on g4? Yeah, I mean, what's wrong with f4? f4 looks okay. What does the engine say is the best move? I think it didn't mind G4. I didn't I didn't understand really, the, I guess, the point of that, because then you're blocking your bishop, bishop off and... Um, All right, it didn't really do anything, Bishop's just going to move back. I just yeah, well, it says it's best. <laughs> That's right. Computer says so it's why? best. So why? Let's see G4. It also likes F4, too. Uh-huh. Hmm. I mean, the problem is long-term, though. Yeah. It's not going to... Uh, it's not going to change the situation whether you play f4 or g4 that you you won't be able to make a pawn break and then he'll play for b4 later. Right, oh, that's true. Yeah. What is the point of uh, g4? Now that went drop down. They're all look similar though. Yeah. Bishop g6. Hmm. Oh, there it goes. See you later, g4. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh well. <laughs> yeah, but I don't like this variation. It wants to play f4 and castle queenside. I mean, it seems ridiculous. I'm just going to play like he did in the game. Get made it That's now. true. <laughs> but f, f4, okay, f, f4 did move to the top, but not, you know, not in a huge way. They're all similar. And yeah. They moved down. Yeah. I think the computer doesn't quite understand the position either. Yeah. It's saying black's a little bit better, but black's more better than this. Mm -hmm. It's more than 0.3. You know, yeah, it's already like getting close to losing, but um, it's sort of a, it's a long term situation, so it doesn't really know about it. Mm -hmm. G F three is that Bishop F three? I don't even know. <laughs> Go on. Um. Yeah, Bishop F three and E four. That's a plan. I was kind of wondering about that myself. Oh. I guess Bishop F three. He would play Bishop D three, maybe. Perhaps. It likes knight f3. But then after bishop b4, it goes back to d2. 
and then bishop g6, then back to f3. Oh, yeah. I like that variation. <laughs> it basically, it's back the same position, but the bishop's here, and it's black's turn. Yeah. But yeah, see, the evaluation's rising for black. I think if you let it sit for longer and longer, it'll get closer and closer to a pawn up. Mm -hmm. Now it says g4 is the best move again. <laughs> <laughs> Geezer to f3, obviously. What about b3? You might as well resign if you're going to do that. You're just giving yourself all these weak pawns. But maybe. <laughs> maybe you could do it, actually. But yeah, that's the problem. It weakens those pawns. But yeah, anyways, any pawn break that you make is going to weaken the dark squares. That's the big problem, fighting against the, the bishop pair, especially when you don't have a dark square bishop. And all of these pawn breaks, like he played e4, that also weakened the dark squares. So you could like sit tight and play f4 and do nothing, but then he's going to play b4 and, and win on the queen side. Unless you somehow hunker down and defend against that, but it's not really a good game plan for white, in my opinion. The tosses. This is why I lose most of my games. <laughs> GF3, GD3, GE2. Yeah, then then G, G6. <laughs> G, G6, yeah. <clears throat> and then back to F3, I guess. Yeah, you could try to play it like that. That seems like pretty logical stuff to play Bishop F3 and E4. Let's see what the computer says about it, huh? It didn't say Bishop F3. It just goes back right away out of the way of e4, which I like. So it wants d4? No, it, it's, it's thinking about it. Rook d8? That's kind of what I thought. Or maybe even castle, right? I thought it recommended bishop h7. Oh, okay. That, that doesn't matter, right? Um, Gonna be just as good. I don't know. I mean, it would, I guess I'm still going to push those pawns. Yeah, anyways, I think that uh, it's, it should just be to defend. Because then we can play d4 later. And still we could play b4 as well. So it's a lot of plans for black. But at least he got a pawn break in. Yeah, maybe he should castle queenside so that there's no bishop c6. But whatevs. I think that either way, the, the situation doesn't change much. Not too much, at least. It's just very good for black. Two bishops, Vatels. <laughs> yeah, a nice clean win by a Copian. Mm -hmm. Scottish Demon Goat says, F4, move the knight, put king on D2, looks equal. Only one thing. <laughs> <laughs> Except for one thing. Right. <laughs> well, yeah. should we play some people? Yeah, why not? We might even have time to throw a puzzle in there, or we could just maybe do some hand and brain. How about you play? just play? <laughs> yeah, I could do that. <laughs> Scottish Demon Goat has a challenge for All you. All right, Scottish Demon Goat. Plus, it's three minute. AKA Neb. Um, best move. Doric the Cat says, "Best move for White is Bishop F3 E3 and continue as a dark bishop." <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. Interesting if legal. All right. Let me see if I cannot lose on time against Neb. <laughs> I know you're kind of asking for the moon there. <laughs> you gotta play that game on international waters, yes. Where uh, you're, there's no rules, right? <laughs> That's how it is. Oh, my favorite variation. Oh, H4, he's got some prep for you, I guess. Karen doesn't care one bit about that. <laughs> it's like, so what about H4? What are you, Simon Williams, she says, derisively. <laughs> Avoid that hassle by castling. Yeah, that's what I was expecting. All right. Let's see here. Got some great gifting going on. Yes. <laughs> Guess I have to take it.
Where's Akbar? Admiral Akbar? Ben says, always take the great gift. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. That's not looking so good here. <laughs> you don't say. <laughs> All right. Walk it on up. Yeah. Darn. No, but it was okay for you if you went back. Yeah. Yeah, I'll show you what it I mean. It seems like when I've gone back, I could get... Yes, but you had okay. a defense. I didn't see it. I'll show you. Mm. It's actually a typical defense. You go here, he goes here. Now, mm -hmm. how do you stop mate? Only one move. Um. Oh, yeah, to just take the knight. Well, that's not going to help. Oh. Because then you start getting mate again. Oh, that's right. So that's not right. That's why you played h4. But you've got another uh, control that square. You can do it. Control that square. It's a square beyond compare. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. I don't see how to control that square. You can do oh, it. Oh, yeah. Bishop d3. Yes, bishop d3. Yeah, we talked about that before, too. Yeah, this is the diagonal <laughs> you need to get on. We that, sometimes we, the Greek gift doesn't work because of that. We talked about that in the context of, I think, the queen's gamut declined. Yes, yes. Remember that? Darn. Well, good game. <laughs> yeah, that's why they're, he's yeah. playing h4 in, in, this, uh, in this French, because he wants to sacrifice here. Oh. That's why, that's why he would do it, because then he could play knight g5, and you can't just take it. Okay, darn. But yeah, you had that bishop d3. You're probably hey, I didn't winning. lose on time though. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. I met my goal. Yeah, it just says black's winning, like I thought. Tough but fair. Yeah, I wasn't paying attention enough. All right, I'm gonna play uh, another one. Lequestant says, "Oh, there's only one move." To defend. Yeah. Yeah, bishop d3 is the only option. Classic way to challenge the Greek gift. Definitely something worth remembering. Mm -hmm. And we talked about that bishop move recently, darn. Um, Kangaroo's up uh, ready for a, a fight. Yeah, let me figure out how to, oh, here it is. All right. Let's see if I can get it going. Greek yogurt is delicious. I had some today. I like I had some yogurt. today, too. Oh, yeah? What was the flavor that you had? It was uh, peach. Peach? I like the peach. Well, which brand? Chobani. I like, um... You showed me it was purple, right? I think it might... I don't even know the brand. I just know what it looks like. I think it's Danon. I like the cherry. I think they even call it dark cherry. Ben does not approve of Greek yogurt. It sounds like something a, a vegan would not like. Because uh, it has dairy in it. Yeah. I thought he would illegally play Bishop G4 again. The second white square bishop doesn't exist. That's what I was expecting. I expect a lot of illegal moves. <laughs> hey, make it, make it pies. Is it P-I-S? Or is it P-L-S? Make it please. What is going on with kangaroo this game? I <laughs> don't understand. Oh, he's trying to trap you? Mm -hmm. That's rude. Mm -hmm, I can see that. I still think uh, it's okay, though. Yeah. I'd be okay with it. Maybe. I don't think so. Seems like it's already trapped. Well, that could be true, yes. <laughs> yeah. So the question is, what do I want to do? But it could be pi like, you know, like the like 3.14. Not pie like the food. So that's something to think about. Make it pies. Phi greater than pie? Mm -hmm. I'll believe it. I'll believe it if I knew what phi was. What is it? I think that's also a Greek thing, right? The Scottish demon goat says that he prefers white here. 
I could maybe agree with that. <clears throat> Peace down, who cares? The first time I ever beat an expert, I lost a piece for two pawns. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was the first time I ever beat an expert. I was like 1650. But you got to speed it up. I, I know. It's just, it's, it needs to be done. <laughs> <laughs> You're already a minute behind. Okay. I know it needs to be done. I'm Let what must be done be done. Trying to think about it. Oh, hey, Owen. Owen with the poems. <clears throat> A little to the left. What's a little to the left? He said, how's it hanging? Oh. <laughs> Oh yeah, I liked when everything was lined up on the D file there last turn. That was pretty cool. Always play King B1. Way better than never play F3. <laughs> mm -hmm. Love the symmetry here too. Why is king b1 that good? It just improves the king's position. It's better on b1 than c1. Can't argue that. Nice pawn break, too. Still got some comp. Reasonable comp. Or unreasonable, maybe. I'd win with white. Yeah. Yeah, you caught up on the clock. You just got to keep it up, though. You got the need for speed. But instead, you're playing like you got the nafty for safety. <laughs> pretty, pretty fly G file there. Mm hmm. Go, Karen. Hey, Lady Buell. How's it going? That is a fly move. Like rook g6. Karpov would be proud of rook g6. I don't know why, but he would be. That's true, Scottish demon goat. Caught, caught up on the clock, too. Rook g6 again. Again. Hmm. 
When I don't fully understand a collinear move, I say Karpov would be proud. <laughs> Fair. Fair enough. It's going to be a photo finish here. <laughs> <laughs> Nera one net says your stream hasn't been announced in your Discord channel. Interesting if true. Waiting for those play faster emotes. Yeah, it's not you know never good. But you time. said you wouldn't lose this one on time. I, so you now know. you got to speed it up. I know what I said. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't want you to be a liar. <laughs> there you go. Now you're playing fast and furious. Go, Karen. Even on time. Now you can win on time. Nice. Keep up that speed. Go, Karen. Oh, he knew you were going to do that. <laughs> it's okay, just play a random move. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know it was my turn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Dang. I didn't know. Oh. I didn't know a, it was my turn. Ton of I couldn't hear it. Game. It didn't make a noise. It's because uh, when he when he brought his rook back and you were about to play queen g8, that was his move. And then you didn't play queen g8. All right. So it was still I got turn. confused. Yeah, you, right. you had a lot of chances <laughs> to win there. There were a lot of cool tactics. Yeah. Oh, let's here's, look at it. Here's a, my favorite tactic. Good game. Here? <laughs> Check this out. Hey, Nisiano. How's it going? He played this, blunder. You could do that. Boom shakalaka. Um, wait, what? Yeah. Boom shakalaka. Oh, yeah. Yes. I'm not going to see that with no that much time left. I mean, I can see it, <laughs> you know. But there are other tactics also. That's the kind of tactic I can see if I have a minute for here, that one move. Here, for example, it's your turn. Yeah. You could play check and win that. <sighs> I knew there was some stuff I could do with check. I'm... Even here, he'd let it happen again. You could yeah. check here instead of there. <sighs> Horrible. Also, so when he was trapping your bishop yeah. and you were losing it, that's okay. All you have to do is try to play check here. Mm -hmm. For example, bishop d3 maybe. And then this. I mean, that looks like pretty good comp. Mm -hmm. He's yeah. going to have to run his king all around. You still get two pawns for it. So I shouldn't have taken with the bishop. Just let it Yeah, because then... Uh, well, here, I guess, even here, yeah, bishop d3, maybe. Or you can also sort of force it if you go here. Because now you're threatening this, so he has to take if he wants to win your bishop, which he does, obviously. Mm -hmm. And then you could check him. But here you are moving your queen a lot, so you're not going to get the maximum out of it. Yeah. Also, here you could play d takes. And then he can't... Uh... Oh, he still can trap you. Dang. So yeah, e5 is a good move, huh? Mm-hmm. E5 was a good move. Yeah, and at first you said, what's he doing here? Yeah, like, I was like, what? this is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I knew there was something going on. And then I saw that he was trying to trap my bishop. Yeah, a lot of times when they play oh. H5 early in a London, it's because they're trying to trap your bishop like this. Yeah. So maybe don't play E3 when you see H5. You're like, you should play C4, obviously. Frankly. Mm -hmm. Like here, for example. you got to open it up when they play H5. 
c4 or queen b3 hit the because they move that so that's we we talk about that a lot mm -hmm. yeah okay but even still uh you had compensation because playing you know here sacking a pawn and then f6 is not great mm -hmm. even if it wins a piece you have comp Good game, kangaroo. Engine, he says, Engine says I made four blunders <laughs> and I missed four wins. That's fair. Here, <laughs> I do puzzle rush all the time, Owen. I'm you shouldn't have horrible. gone here because this didn't help you out. <laughs> you know, you're trying to stop him from castling, but he just kicked you back. And then you had to, so you wasted two moves. Yeah. There. You just go develop your knight, castle, play e4. Yeah, that's the way to do it. Mm hmm. But yeah, you still were in it. Also, knight c3 is better than knight d2. This was all good, though. I liked h3. I thought you'd take with the rook, but maybe you didn't want to allow that. I thought rook takes, and you could try to take it. I thought that was better because then my queen was hitting the pawn. Well, either way, your queen's hitting the pawn. Yeah, that's true. Okay, yeah, that's true. And anyways, you can't even take but... with the queen because then you'd lose this. So I was trying to take with the rook so you can keep that defended. Oh, I see. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, this was all pretty normal. Then here he hung all his pieces. What, what is he threatening something here? I don't. I don't know why I didn't take. I got confused. This move doesn't even threaten anything, right? Um, I should have taken. I said he kicked him. Then he's like, "Oh, I shouldn't hang all my pieces." So he went back and defended <laughs> them. Oh, yeah. I know. I realized I should, lost my opportunity. <laughs> yeah. Then we already talked about. Queen g4 check and yeah and queen g4 check again mm -hmm. but yeah this would have been the best one though queen takes d6 darn I didn't see that that would have been my favorite and then he would have been my hero yeah the crowd the crowd would have gone wild also here you could take a6 but you already had like 10 seconds or something so it didn't matter too much yeah tough game tough game but you didn't keep your promise <laughs> <laughs> I know I'm horrible I couldn't help it this time control is too short for thinking, says Kangaroo. That's true. <laughs> it's still fun, though. Yeah, I like how Scottish Demon Goat played h4, and then Kangaroo played h5. What? Scottish Demon Goat, when he, you played him, he played mm -hmm. h4. Oh. And Kangaroo played h5. They like pushing their h pawns against Yeah. Him. It's real popular right now. How is that? Uh, is that Simon Williams prep? That makes sense. But I don't understand how Simon's oh. going to play against... If you play C4, like that seems like it's going to beat you. Hey, there's Dan for a day. So I got – um, how's it going? I got um, paired against Dan for a day on – he beat me just too. Just random? Um, yeah, just randomly the other day on chess.com. <laughs> you still have time for another game. Maybe you can yeah. play, play Pawn Grubber or something or whoever challenged you first. Your H brothers. That's true. <laughs> oh, SM Rosny challenged you first though. All right. Let's go, SM Rosny. H bros. Trying out a different variation this time. I like it. Mm hmm. Illegal Mount Rushmore climber falls down Washington's head, arrested, fined fifteen hundred bucks. Dang. He lived. <laughs> <laughs> Enough to be fined, at least. <laughs> well, I mean, that's good. Can't wait till he's climbing up Trump's head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, or that Trump. Trump wants to add his head. That sounds like a normal thing that a president would say during their presidency. Yeah. <laughs> he loves himself. Hey, can we add my head to it? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> You're like, I know that guy. He's pretty cool. Hmm. Slow and steady this game. I get it. For both of you guys. I'm trying to see, uh, you know, what's better here. I'm not sure about it. He also said he's the best since Lincoln. Maybe better. 
believe him. <laughs> well, that might be true in some, some way. The best since Lee Lincoln. <laughs> Lincoln was pretty good, though. But I guess uh, he, that's where he stops. Like, he's not better than Lincoln. He's the best since Lincoln. <laughs> right. So that's fair. I mean, he's going to go down in history as being the worst, one of the worst presidents we've ever had. <laughs> that's true. Andrew Jackson was pretty bad. I mean, Andrew Johnson, not Andrew Jackson. Andrew Jackson was all right. Andrew Johnson was pretty bad, though. But he, right. he had, like, some mental problems, Andrew Johnson, from what I've heard. Obviously, I wasn't alive then. <laughs> I don't even know what year <laughs> he was. I don't really like being on this square. I don't like being over there either. What's going on? Just got challenged. Mm. Mm. That's all. It happens. FDR is the least bad. Interesting. Andrew Johnson was president 65 to 60, 1865 to 69. I'll believe it. That sounds about right. Hmm. Who was the best president? Hmm. It's tough. Been a lot of pretty good presidents. But it's a tough job, no doubt about it. Yeah. I wouldn't want to be president. I'd rather be king. I think you just do every one. King. Want. <laughs> that's that's I way think better. Trump would rather be king too. Right. <laughs> Thinks he is. Go Teddy Roosevelt. <laughs> Trail of Tears was Jackson. Tale of Tears was Jackson, but still Johnson was worse. <laughs> Teddy Roosevelt was cool. Yeah, I don't know. I, don't, I haven't heard much anything bad about Teddy. That's true, but I don't know much about history. Like I'm the not, song goes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm not that. I'm not. Don't know much about history myself. It's true. Nixon was the prettiest. Well, that's not true. <laughs> that's that's as true as uh, Komsky being the prettiest chess player, right? Yeah, I guess I have to go over here. Was Teddy egomaniac with that mountain maneuver? <laughs> I, I suppose so. Oh, my tummy, you hear that? Yeah. That was a loud ro rumble. <laughs> Rumbly tum. This is two bishops vatels. Challenge that open file. Andrew Johnson was the first president to have an impeachment conducted against him. He was acquitted by one vote. I believe it. I believe that to be true. I love the speed at which you're playing. Yeah. Yes, very good. Keep it up. Hard to guess anybody's moved this game, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my, you know. But you guys are doing your best. Doing our best. And I appreciate that. But don't slow down after I complimented your speed. Come on. Mm -hmm. Make me look bad. <laughs> Do you all give Fall Guys lessons? I don't give Fall Guys lessons because I've never played it. But maybe Karen does. Um, that was obviously a joke. <laughs> Frankly. <laughs> no, I mean, I don't know anything about that game. Who is Fall Guy? Asking her. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 
right, let's see. Nice, you're playing like a Copian now. Like he played Rook A2 against the guy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, crushing it. Love Black's position here. Up a pawn. Extra pawn. Playing good moves, too. You keep playing all these good moves, you're going to win. It's not very nice. If it's free, it's for me. GM Karen. <laughs> <clears throat> Just got to keep up that speed. Double up on the bubble up. Getting the spamming the emotes in the chat now. The Karen faster emotes. Make lift, not war. That's the way to do it. <clears throat> yeah, I tend to. Uh... Get back rank mated. Mm hmm. <laughs> Not this game. I like how you made left on a white square, too. That's good. H4, I like this guy. Yeah, he did play with the h bond too. Karen's following all the rules in this game. That's true. Oh, my. Oh, it, was, it was a trade that he did totally on purpose. <laughs> Dang, Karen's crushing it. How are you playing so good? Yeah, I don't know. Dang, Yay. too good. <laughs> you played great that game. I almost went um, the other way with G2? the fish. Yeah, that one. No. Wouldn't oh, be wait, as good. Okay. No. Still totally winning. But... <laughs> Yay, good game, Simran. Really good sneak. game. <laughs> Go, Karen, clap. PH3, hey, Mark. not recommended. How's it going? Oh, Mark was the one who said about the guy who fell. Oh, that's <laughs> right. I forgot. Hey, Dr. Chessarex, Th Thatasaurus. <laughs> you want to analyze it real quick? Yeah. Hey, and um, Mark, if you decide to do the class tonight, you should just be able to use that link right. every week. Um, hey, Pashi3000. I don't know why this doesn't just hang the pawn. You just take free pawn, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, maybe uh, if you're going to play knight f5, you could try to take first. The, the downside with taking first is that it, when you allow them to play c takes, they can play knight c3. But he's already played knight d2. So there is no downside to you taking. Because he's already played knight d2, he can't play knight c3. Well, I didn't, I didn't want them to have the DE pawns, and it seemed like if I took the pawn and then they took my qu queen and we tried to queens. Yeah, but then you can play knight f5 and you're attacking this, so mm. they, if they attack you, just take it. Oh, that's true. They can't get their dark squared bishop. Right. He can go here yeah. or something, but this is kind of a bad square for the knight. Yeah. I see that a lot in... Um, the French, though, where they have a knight on b3 protect. No, Usually I'm bad. Yeah, yeah, I'm not saying All know, right. it's good or bad. I've just seen it a lot. But yeah, the problem is here that now you have, you're worried about this. Well, I wouldn't be worried about that. I just get developed in castle. Yeah, I didn't like it there. <laughs> so I didn't, I didn't but like this it on is the side. Bad. I know. <laughs> I can't complain about it in the game. That's true. This makes absolutely no sense to do that. Ridiculous. Yeah, I was surprised by that. So I was really Terrible. happy. Yeah, now you're Because I can put my knight back. Two bishops. <laughs> well, and then I can just move my knight back, too. But then I had to um, 
end up doing which, what I didn't want to do, which was to take with Eve. I didn't care as much because the queens were off the board. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I would take this free pawn. Yeah. It's free. I don't care if he does that, you know. Seems like I did take it, but it was a couple minutes later. Yeah, he just let you take it. He could not let you. Yeah, that's true. Couldn't you have done that though in that same position? It's your turn here. You just take it. It's your turn. See? What was the move before that? This one, which is not great. But if he goes here, then you take with the E pawn. You could play knight here and bishop takes. Uh, yeah. So that's why he didn't do that. He wanted to play bishop takes h6. I mean, I wouldn't care about that if I had black or white. You're going to take a knight that's on the side of the board for your best piece? You know? Just to double my pawns, and you waste time doing it. Even, you know, I'm more concerned about the center and the two bishops. I mean, I don't like having doubled h pawns. Don't get me wrong. I'm just saying that there's a lot of downside for white to do that too. Yeah, I mean, it's, but I wouldn't call that their best piece. What you said it. Think it is. Oh, yeah, it this is? is better than that. Definitely. Okay. When you when in general when people say piece, they just mean the minor piece. They don't, they don't include the rooks? Or well, they... right now the bishop's better than the rooks. The rooks yeah. will have more potential. Yeah. I was just curious. Time is like something that is important as well. Right. Free pawn, I love it. Yeah, now you're just winning. Just winning. Here you could take that free pawn because it's already defended. Yeah. This was all pretty good. Here you should defend like this so you don't lose a pawn. Said he played here, now he could take this. Instead, he played that. <laughs> Obviously, he and I are not good at taking pawns. <laughs> I can tell. <laughs> <laughs> this was good. Takes. I loved this. Now you're talking. That was a great move. I didn't even see that move. That's the best move. Then he hung that pawn, and he did take it. See, now you're getting good at taking it. <laughs> well, the board's getting cleared off, so it's a little bit easier to see. <laughs> now, you should probably be making luft like the last few moves. Oh, yeah, you did. You did. Right, that was good. Mm-hmm. That move probably wasn't best, but then you fixed it by going back. Great move. Best move there. Then he went here. Beautiful stuff. Really good play. I loved it. And then he accidentally hung the rook, but it was really a trade because he has this tactic. Mm -hmm. But then, yeah, then he hung mate in one. But if he goes back here, then it's also pretty bad because you're up, what, two or three pawns? Looks like three. Yeah. I mean, you have to have some technique <clears> here. But with the rooks on the board, it's, it's an easy win. You know, with the rooks off the board, it's probably still a win, but it's a little tougher because opposite color bishops. Mm -hmm. But three pawns is a lot. <laughs> it's a lot of pawns. Yeah. Even though they're a couple of doubled pawns, it doesn't I matter think, too much. You know, but there's always the time factor too. That's true. Yes, or would cry. <laughs> good game. He would be like, "Why aren't they getting the pawns?" All right. Well, good game. Um, I hope you guys noticed my uh, gym badge here. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it's a ghost. Oh, I don't know if you can see it very well. I didn't it's kind of dark. What is a gym badge? From uh, Pokemon. Oh. Yeah, you, you battle in gyms. They're like bosses. Mm -hmm. And then after you beat them, you get a gym badge. Mm. It encourages kids to go to the gym. <laughs> really? I think so. Oh. <laughs> I've always thought that's why they call them gyms. Oh, well, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Um. Yeah. That was a good game, SM Rising. Dang. Oh, you can't see it? Yeah, it's kind of tough because it's so dark. Make it piss. I think it's pies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> piss would be with two S's. Why is that funny? Because, <laughs> you know, piss. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm three. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Look how I get so red when I laugh. That's true. I always turn so red. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, oh, I am sorry. Did you? I saw you challenged me earlier, Grandmaster Cool, but the challenge went away. And um, I actually have to go home. And um, I have to start that uh, class soon. Spencer has to prep for class. Hey, weird Gus. And then I. Um, so I. I apologize, I can't play right now, Grandmaster. Cool. Uh, or Nisanel. But um, I wonder if I'm saying that right, Nisanel. <laughs> um, anyway, 
I have to go home. I have to get dinner for the family. And then Spencer's going to do a class, um, which you guys are welcome to join. Or you can watch it certainly on YouTube once it gets there. And then Ben is streaming from 8 to 11. That's right. Um, he'll be on Chess TV from 9 to 11. Um, I'm not sure what his stream plan is. Class starts in 55 minutes. That's right. Now, let me see who's on here. Don't leave me, folks. Don't leave. I want to raise. You have to sign up for the class on atlchessclub.com. That's right. Let me type that it's in. It's $15 or 10 for members. I don't know the exact link. All right. Well, that's kind of the link. That gets you to the website. And then just click on events, I can, registration. Um but yeah, buy opportunity. Don't leave. Do not leave. Do right, not we're, leave. We're raiding somebody. We're gonna raid cool. somebody. And let me think about who we're raiding. I wish I knew what everybody was doing. Maybe chess bra. It says chess. Chess bra. There's Gotham chess. Ren Daniel Ranch is coaching the mountain. Uh, A lot of options. Nicholas Stojan. Okay, so I want to just real quick see what Gotham chess is doing. Okay. Oh, I lost my chat. I can. I can that. still see it. What's he doing? He's playing chess. He's playing a guy. He's playing Doric. Doric Emer? Yeah. Really? Yeah, it said Doric Emer. Oh, that's somebody we know. Okay, we're gonna raid Gotham. Right, here we go. He doesn't really need my little raid, but we're gonna do it anyway. Give him a chance. If you haven't given him a chance. <clears throat> I used to not care for his personality, but I like him now. He, he's very New York. He's very New York in your face. Forget about it. <laughs> but um, so we're going to raid him. And let me get back over here. Bye, everyone. Thank you guys so much. Yeah, See bye. You next time. See you next time. Bye.